Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with Twinkie TV, and I'm here to do a recap or reaction video to Bride of the Century episode number three. And I actually watched this quite a bit ago, but I was visiting some family members and taking care of some stuff, so I wasn't able to upload for the past many, many days, and so I'm now trying to catch up with all the things that I've been watching, especially when I was with my family, but unable to upload because I didn't really have my equipment and stuff there. So anyways, back to the recap or reaction. So we leave off with Durim basically going in and getting a tomato face bomb to protect Lee hong character, her supposed fiance, from a disgruntled former employee. And the reason why it's a former employee because Lee hong was just being a jerk walking through his mega mall and was offended by her perfume. And I guess, you know, cut her immediately from staff but this girl, she, support, you know, she doesn't have any parents, she's supporting her siblings, siblings were taken away, they were you know, cast out of their home. So she was really, really bitter and angry. And of course, Durim being the candy girl, the heart of gold girl, she is trying to plead on the former employee's behalf, even though she got a tomato to the face. And Lee hong Gi's character, you know, I think he's softening as a person towards Durim's character, even though it's the fake fiance. So that was kind of a good interaction showing that Lee hong character is getting to like Durim. But the point is here, Durim is not really the fiancé. Him, Lee hong character and the real fiancé don't really get along. So I think that once the whole switcheroo thing happens again, uh, he's going to end up being very confused because he's falling in love with Durim. The other thing that happened in episode number three is that Durim being the girl that she is wanting to you know really put joy into her grandmother's heart she sees this flat screen tv contest which is a cake eating contest out in the open being filmed and so she goes all in she like totally goes nuts eats this pie cake makes a mess of herself gets caught by Lee hong Gi, and not only that but gets caught by Rumi's character, which then this whole thing, this footage is uploaded into the internet. It's like this huge fiasco because, you know, she won, but she placed her fiance's family in like internet scorn, as well as the uh, real fiance's family into like some kind of, you know, scandal. So she gets it from both sides. Like basically they're like both yelling at her that she did this awful thing. But the grandma's so happy that she got the flat screen TV, so yay for duty. The other thing is the last part of this episode was a concert scene, and the concert was uh, Lee hong Gi's little brother's, uh, I think, band. I think it might be called Monster or something like that. And the guy has blonde hair. He's, you know, the son of a very rich family, but he's being a rock star. So, you know, I'm sure it's leading a very glamorous life. And that younger brother who's part of the band is actually in love with Rumi's character. So there's kind of like this love square pentagon shape going on. Um, but of course Rumi doesn't like the younger brother. She likes Lee hong Gi's character. And um, so back to the concert, Dudim is trying to get to from the brother, the half brother, the half brother that she's supposed, well the real fiance is related to and um, make it over to Lee hong Gi's character. But in the process, she trips and falls. You know, the lights are out and you know, people are trampling over her. You know, of course you're feeling like, oh no, what's gonna happen to her? But of course, Lee hong Gi's character, you know, scoops her up and gets her out of harm's way. And so then the concert goers, they want a kiss and they're rooting for a kiss, kiss, kiss. And of course, Lee hong Gi has to oblige and they, do a real kiss. So in episode one and two, you see Dudim and Lee hong character fall on top of each other or trip and fall, and then you get the kiss then. So it wasn't really a kiss because they actually, they're just doing skinship from falling all over each other. Uh, literally, but not uh, actually figuratively. 
And this time around, she does fall, but not at the exact same time as the kiss. So do I really like this drama? I'm still kind of up in the air because Lee Hong Gi is not like the strongest lead for this show, but I do think that he is showing a little bit more lovability, lovable character in himself. And then I actually really, really like Judy. So yeah, I give this episode a one thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you, bye.